Hello, welcome. Let's do some construction from DC 2024, question 4. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, we are to construct triangle PQR such that angle PQR is 90 degrees, the length of PQ is 5.5 centimeters, QR is 8 centimeters. Then we construct a perpendicular of PR from Q. Then we locate the M as the intersection of the perpendicular and that of for the length PR. Let's begin with that. Now these are the two line segments we can deal with. We can begin with PQ. We can also begin with what? QR. I'll be using QR because this is longer than this. I would like the diagram to be elongated. All right. Any direction you pick will be the same. So I am picking uh, 8 centimeter. Let's see. Let me have this line from here all the way. Then put the measurement on zero. Let's make a line segment. Then you measure from zero up to eight centimeters. So I am marking here as my eight centimeter. So what is a line segment is Q and what R. Let me indicate my eight centimeter. That's the first requirement we have to do. Then we go back into the first part, angle PQR is 90 degrees, meaning the angle is on the letter in the middle, which is Q. So Q is here. So we can use a protractor to draw the 90, or we are going to construct the 90 at that point. All right, so to do the 90, we know we need to have, let me extend this line a bit because we need the 90. Don't worry, we will clean it out. So with that dotted line, we cannot stand at the point P. Open any reasonable radius, make an arc, then we make an arc. Okay? We are going to stand on that arc and open up a radius and cut and come back to this arc and intersect. All right. The reason why I extended the line is for us to be able to get the overlap here so that we can have our 90 degrees drawn. So this is going to be ninety degrees. So we can indicate here as ninety. Now we are having P uh, P on this line Q R. So we need to know the dimension for PQ, P and Q, which is 5.5. And I'm just going to measure. Okay, let's see if I can also show that by the compass. You stand on the, the zero mark, then open your compass to the dimension you're looking for 2.5. So when you get the 2.5, you stand here, then, okay, I get it, a little bit above that, but that is okay. So, I'm not going to join the P, this is why the P is going to be, join the P and that of what? The R, together to form the required triangle. So you can see this is our triangle PQR with here being 5.5 centimeter. The angle is here. What is next? B. We have to construct a perpendicular of PR of PR from Q. Perpendicular from this place. And how do we do that? We can just open any reasonable radius, we stand at the Q, any reasonable radius, make an arc, 
we act, we come back to those act we did. We make an act. The second one, we make an act. Good. Can I get this? Okay, this will be used. We are now going to join the P, the Q with the point of intersection of our bisector. Good. So in this case, this is a bisector. We have to locate M, the intersection of the perpendicular and the PR. So this very point, we are going to label that as what? M. Since they say this is perpendicular, this will be 90, that will also be 90 as well. What do we do next? We are to measure MR. MR. Then measure QM and QM. So this and this is what we are asked to measure. So let's go BI with this MR. By measurement, I am only going to have MR all the way. Let me turn it this way. So we have zero. That will be six centimeter. So I'll be having six centimeter. Then I I make this what? We are measuring QM. Okay, for QM, where do we start from? Q and M. So I am going to stand here. This is my Q. This is my M. And that is going to be 5 centimeters. So I have my 5 centimeter. Now, if I have this, I have this. I can indicate that on it to see if I'll be needing it. Six centimeter, then five centimeter. All right, let's see the next question. We have to calculate, correct to the nearest whole number, the area of the triangle QMR. 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 This very triangle we just have. That have the dimensions to be 5, 6, and what? 8. This triangle, we are looking for the area. So since here is 90 degrees, it becomes a right angle triangle. So this is going to be the height, the base, or the base, the height, ignoring the 8 centimeter. All right. So from here, we can say that area of triangle... QMR will be equals to half the base times the height. What is the base? We can pick any of these to be the base. So the base could be 6 cm. The height could be this. The base and the height are always perpendicular to each other. That is why we are not going to pick it as the base. I can't pick. If I'm picking here as the base, then the height must be perpendicular to that base. So if this is the base, it is perpendicular to this as the height. So this is the height, that will be the base. So I have my 5 centimeter, half of 6 is 3, times 5, and that will be giving us 15 centimeters. Alright, so this is the, the area. You could measure it to be a little bit above the 5, 5.1, 5.2, yeah, or 4.95, and so on and so forth. The measurement could be varying. Since the board is slippery, there could be some error that I will conduct. But you will be able to get the same measurement with a little infraction of 0 0.1, 0 0.2 in your measurement. I'm sure the concept is clear. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.